Okay, lots of helpful information in this video, I think. Uh, what is the graph of y equals 1 half x minus 4? Well, this is slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. So since the y-intercept here is negative 4, we need to first have um, a line that's crossing at negative 4. So if we run through these, uh, we see that this one is crossing the y-axis at negative 4. So is this one. So is this one but C is not, okay? Uh, so let's, let's just cross that one out of there, okay? Now, what else could we eliminate? Well, if I look at now the slope, which is 1 half, that's a positive number. So we already need to have a positive slope. And positive slopes, as you move to the right, as your x value increases, so does your y value, and you're going basically up. You're rising like this. B does not do that, so we can cross that one out because B has, the line has a negative slope. Okay, so now we need to look for the graph that has a slope of one half, where from a point that's already on the line, and we already have that point crossing the y-axis. We, let's say, rise one, run two. So if I rise one, run two like that, rise one, run two, I'm not staying on the line. Okay, down here at D, rise one, run two, yep, back on the line. Rise one, run two, back on the line. Rise one, run two, back on the line. D is our answer. A has a slope of two, not a slope of one half. Okay, so that's our answer. We have an answer of D. Okay, and again, let me just uh, clarify that we are meeting the requirement of having a y-intercept or a place where the line crosses the y-axis at negative 4 and a slope of 1 over 2. Okay, number 39, this is written in standard form, and I showed you this today if you're in my class. Um, which is take your equation and write it in simplified form, okay? If you, or two equations in simplified form. If you have the equation 6x plus 7y equals 42, then if we wanted to find the place where the line crosses the x-axis, anything that's on the x-axis has a y value of 0. So if we put in 0 for y, 7 times 0 is 0, and that goes away, giving us a simplified equation of 6x equals 42, which when we divide both sides by 6, we get x equals 7, or we have our line crossing the x-axis at 7. And if we did it again, we said, what about where it crosses the y-axis? Well, when it's crossing the y-axis, it's going to have an x value of 0. And this part then 6 times 0 goes away, and we have a simplified equation of 7y equals 42. Okay, and then dividing both sides by 7, we get y equals 6, meaning we're going to cross the y-axis at 6. So we need a point. Let's plot those two points. Crossing the x-axis at 7, that's there, that's there, that's there, that's there and crossing the y-axis at 6. That's there, that's there, that's there, that's there. And only one of them goes through both of those points, both of those uh, intercepts, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And of course, as you can see, that is A. So this equation is the right answer. So again, quick trick. You separate this, say this, if, if I set that equal to 42 and solved it out, I would find out where it crosses the x-axis. The variable that's left is the axis is crossing, and the number that you get is where it's crossing it. 
Okay, so if you did the same thing and took that chunk equal to 42, and you simplified it out, you'd say you'd get y equals 6, meaning it's going to cross the y-axis at 6. Yeah? One more. Okay. So here what we're doing is we're trying to identify the point that we know the line is going through. Okay? And right here, it says x minus whatever it's x minus what, that's going to be the x-coordinate of the point. x minus negative 4. So we've got negative 4 as the x-coordinate. Okay? And then the y-coordinate will be whatever is being subtracted from y. y minus what? Negative 6. So we need our line to be going through the point negative 4 comma negative 6. And so let's find that point. Negative 4, negative 6, that's right there. Negative 4, negative 6, that's right there. Negative 4, negative 6, that's right there. And negative 4, negative 6, that's right there. Okay. Uh, one of them, it doesn't go through that point. Which one is that? It's D, so it already can't be that. What is our slope? Well, our slope here is whatever's in front of the parentheses on the right-hand side, and that's one-fifth. It's a positive number, so any lines that are not positively sloped can't beat it. it. Which one is not positively sloped? A is not. It's dropping as you go to the right, and so that's got a negative slope. Okay. So now we've got a slope of one-fifth, means rise one, run five. So if we took some point on our line, the point, for example, that we know is in there, and we say from here, let's rise one, run five. That would put us right there. Rise one, run five. Nope, can't be that one. If we try that with B, rise one, run one, two, three, four, five. We're back on the line. Rise one. Run one, two, three, four, five, back on the line. Okay? It is not C, but rather B. There you go.